What's up, Eagles? Today is Tuesday, January 16th. I'm Max LaBianca. And I'm MJ Arsh. Let's get into these afternoon announcements. Attention juniors, it is time to sign up for your individual meeting with your counselor. Visit your class of 2025 Google Classroom and click on your counselor's corresponding link to schedule. And here is your Tuesday trivia question. When was the Declaration of Independence signed? July 4th, 1776, August 2nd, 1776, March 10th, 1848, or May 31st, 1819? The correct answer was August 2nd, 1776. Hi, I'm Adriana Stockard. Each Monday from here on out, we will be doing a weekend sports recap. This week, we have a lot of sports news for you, so let's get started. On Thursday, the wrestling team traveled to Berea and defeated the Titans 50 to 24. The wrestlers had a great performance with pins by Kane Sparks, Tommy Freeman, Nico Calamaris, Adam Schumacher, Ian Englehart, and Jeremiah Kelly. Our varsity boys basketball team defeated Midview with a final score of 65 to 52. Great job, Eagles. Saturday was filled with many events throughout Northeast Ohio. The varsity wrestling team traveled to East Lake North for the annual JMMC tournament. The Eagles took second as a team with champions Tony Morosco and Nico Calamaris leading the way. The Avon girls varsity basketball team battled tough, but came up just short falling to Midview 56 to 52. The varsity men and women's swim team competed at the Northeast Classic, where the men's team had six swimmers who achieved their best times, and the women's team had a top five finish with 13 swims in the finals. Awesome job, swim and dive team. Finally, the Avon gymnastics team was victorious on Sunday defeating Magnificat, Westlake, and Avon Lake. Senior captain Riley Small won the all-around with a first place finish on her floor routine, second place on vault, and tied for third on the bars. Congratulations, Avon Gymnastics. And that's all we have for your weekend sports recap. Well, that's all we have for you today, Eagles. I'm Max LaBianca. And I'm MJ Arsh. Let's have a great week.